Okay, here we are to talk about the Yankee Candle video I wanted to do for a long time and I keep forgetting. Well, this is an update. And I wanted to tell people that I recently deleted all my reviews to Yankee Candle. And you're going to wonder why. First of all, I have way too many candles. I wanted to do a review video for each individual candle, but it takes too long. And every time I would light one off at the end of the night, I would forget about it and I would never remember which candles I did do reviews for and which ones I didn't. So I decided I'll do one big video of reviews at the end of the season of every seasoned candle I have or whatever. I think it's better. You know, I just bought yeah, the, the Yankee Candle collection of for the new, it's the cheaper one that's at Target now. It's um, it's the Kif, um Caribbean collection or whatever the hell it's called. It looked pretty cool and I smelled some of them in Target. There was one of them I couldn't find in Target, which was a spiced rum, um, whatever it was called. I forgot what, Barat, it's something would it be. And it looked pretty cool, but I couldn't find it anywhere. It wasn't at any local stores to me. That was the only one. All the, there was six, there's six of these candles. And the one I couldn't find, um, so I just bought them all online. And now they're showing up real fast. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's pretty nice, you know. This is the second item I bought from Target in a really long time. Well, not in a really long time. I bought Halo from Target. But, um, and before that I had purchased from them a long time, a long, long time ago. And now I'm, I bought, what, what was it, the candles. And I think that's pretty good, you know. Here's one thing you have to worry about, though. And is that if you buy it, Yankee Candle at Target, you're not going to have much of a selection. That's the problem. Like, the actual good candles they sell at the store, the, the, the other ones are good, too. I buy the Threshold ones, and those got recalled a little less than a year ago. <laughs> they, not the ones I have, though. And um, th some of them are okay. It's just, you know, they don't have a lot of the newer ones that you would want to buy. Like they have a couple of the, they have some of the new collection that they just came out with, which was the Desert Blooms, um, the Canyon something or whatever it was called, stargazing and stuff like that. But besides that, there hasn't been much that's been coming out. And, um, you know, it's not easy to have a big collection like me. You've got to have the opportunity. I mean, you know, not a lot of people have the opportunity to have, like, as many candles as I do. Um, but I, lo I love it. It's a great hobby. It's something that you can really relate to a lot of people with. I mean, a lot of people like to smell different things in different scents. I mean, if you play video games all day and night, how can you relate to someone with that? At least with a candle, you can say, oh, this smells good. Oh, where did you buy it? Maybe I'll pick one up. You can you're not going to get that reaction from someone that plays video games. Well, that's it. Um, you know, oh, actually, no, that's not it. What else did I want to say? Um, I pretty much have every spring candle in their store and almost all their summer candles. And they're still selling Christmas candles. That That's what baffles me. Every time I'm in the store, I've never seen anyone take home a Christmas candle. They still sell them a Christmas carol candle. They're still selling the Christmas Eve candles. Only one or two in the store, though, for that. They're selling holiday cheer. This um, I can see why they would sell the what's it called um, the one the tree one. Oh damn it, balsam and cedar. I could see why they would sell that one. But all these Christmas candles they're still selling. The Easter candles were really pathetic. Actually, I took one of them back. They were so bad. Um, the Easter candle. Um, I'm talking about the jelly bean one. That was horrible. Um. The shortcake one smelled pretty good. And um, what was the other one? There was another one. I forgot what it was. Those were pretty good. But the the Easter, their Easter candles were horrible. And you know, I look at, uh, I look up, one more thing I wanted to add at the end of this. I look up, uh, what's it called? A Mountain Lodge. And I noticed that a lot of people rated it really bad. I know it doesn't, the scent doesn't push out much for Mountain Lodge, but it does give out a scent. It's great for a soft, cold night. That's when I like them off in the winter time. And I gotta tell you though, I can see why people bitched about it. I mean, really. And this, it's, it, and they basically sell it all year long. So, um, I don't know how they're gonna keep selling that candle. It's kind of an it's, it's insult to do that. I mean, 
And if 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 you get a lot of complaints about a candle, you should be telling these stores not to sell them anymore if they do bad. You get that gener generic person on Yankee Candle that says, oh, I'm sorry for doing this, this, or that. I got that once when I complained about a package and then UPS um, commented on my video for it. It's kind of hilarious because, I mean, like, what, I'm, like, what are they going to do for me? Like, yeah. You know, that's how I feel about it. But that's how it is and that's that. Ah. Why deal with Yankee Candle? You could do your best by um, going to to their store and looking at what you can. The sad part is a lot of people don't even have Yankee Candle near their house, so that sucks. Nothing you can do about it. They cut back on their workforce, and, and there was really no reason for it, I don't think. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.